Hey guys, I'm at TJ Maxx and I just walked over here by the back of the dumpster. Here's this Irish beer mug. And then there's this three and one men's wash with hemp oil. The thing is just gone. That was kind of weird. And random. Alright guys, I'm here at TJ Maxx and I just moved a boatload of those boxes because they had them all in here and that's what they do. I feel like they cover stuff up so that I can't find it and, and see, I don't know what this is right here. Oh, oh if that's a... I think that might be cologne or perfume. Uh, um, I don't know, but that smells amazing. Woo! All right, I'm trying to stick it in my pocket. Okay. This bag feels too light. doesn't seem great right now. glass 3d that's cool I hope that works all right so I think my light isn't bright because dang that was heavy um because it's cold <laughs> it's cold so I'm sorry and I've had this in my house and I got that cold in my car Here's a grab bag. I'm so happy I moved all those boxes. Oh. Oh, my favorite. Some more masks. Therapy diffuser thingy. bright today. So I'm sorry. Oh, what is that? Like a display? Jewelry display? Yep. thought there was more stuff. See, that's what they do. Just 
making sure there's nothing under there. Okay, let's just take a peek at this. Oh my gosh, it's cold. All right. I'm gonna take those, but let's just... I'm taking a bunch of spikes. These hard as a rock. broke. There's some more cologne. Adidas antiperspirant. Hyaluronic acid. That's all broke. And soap. Ah. Harley soup. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> that's all open. Alright, so that's kind of a big bag of nothing. Alright. So, man, it's windy. Let me can check this one. Oh, there's the thing to that diffuser. Honestly, I'm not taking it. Bed head, a bunch of chalk. I don't want all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna let someone else take it. I'm gonna set it right there for them and we'll take the rest. All right, let's check out the next spot. Okay guys, I'm here at Party City and they're throwing away this stuff again. Hard to get around. They have these burning metal. Let me see some here. This is a very marble lamp. Taking everything because I just can't. Some old lady came. My light is cold, so it's not bright, so I'm sorry. Here is. Someone else take that. Because trust me, there are people right behind me. Let's see, they do that, and then there's the cute little squishy there.
you guys if you aren't laughing right now if you just saw my last video where I found this and I needed a piece of glass to replace it how freaking funny oh my gosh you guys there it is okay there's a lot of stuff let me put this in my car at the bottom like I need more of those. Let's get started. Um, we'll start here with the TJ Maxx. Um, this is the stuff that I grabbed. Um, found this, that Irish beer mug um, that was hidden by, by the dumpster. And uh, this is what the glass looks like. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then there was this three-in-one with hemp oil. Men's uh, face, hair, and body wash. It's a big old... 32 fluid ounces there. And then I grabbed this guy, and I'm not sure if it works or not, but I'll have my daughter check it out and see. It's pretty heavy duty there. Um, then I scored these two bottles of men's cologne, and they smell, this one smells really good. Instinct and Black Legacy. Um, yeah, so they just needed, they just need a new little cap there. And I'm sure I can, I'm sure I have some. I have a ton of perfume, an old perfume I can snag one from. Um, and then some more masks. It's crazy how when the pandemic started and masks, you know, were hard to come by. And now they're just everywhere, and especially in the dumpsters. Um, found this, these little snowflakes, uh, string of lights there. Haven't checked to see if it works or not. And then I had a big bag of Giardelli chocolate, but I always divide it up because I am the caramel Gir uh, Giardelli fan and my daughter likes the dark chocolate and the mint. So I split it up and give her, uh, the bag with all of that and I steal the caramels out of it. So it was a whole whole bag and it didn't have any expiration date on it but it looked in it definitely tasted fine all right and then here is from the uh, party city um this giant foil balloon if you see my last video i scored that big bird one which is like 64 inches tall so this was pretty pretty cool the disarm i think i called this a minion um despicable me well they are minions right yeah they're the minions from despicable me Duh, Heather. Um, I think I said 
mini me was what I think I said in the video. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, they're so cute. And so I'm just donating this and the Big Burger to the Children's Hospital. That would be really cute. Um, and this as well, this Twisty Pets. Brand new. And, I mean, nothing's wrong with it. The box isn't even damaged. So sometimes I don't I don't know why they, why they tossed it, but that will go in the donation. And um, this as well, um, if you've seen my past video, I scored a bunch of these from Party City. Uh, fingerlings and I'm um, actually tomorrow I'm cleaning out my storage because I've been storing tons of stuff for Children's Hospital and if you've seen I got all those turkey hats um, I'm gonna go over to the hospital tomorrow and donate all of the toys and stuff and I'll film it too I think you guys enjoy watching that um, and then I pulled out this lava lamp and it the box was just dented right there but it was brand new because I had to break the seal right here. So, and that was really cute. Um, and I don't know if Children's Hospital wants stuff like this. I'm going to bring, there's some things I'm not sure if they want because I had a bag of diapers and like some little socks and stuff. And I'm not sure if they, you know, take that or what, um, I'm learning right now. I mean, of course they take toys, but... So I'll see if they want this lava lamp. I'll give them that, the balloons and diapers and whatnot. So, yep, let's set up for the next clip. Okay, um, let's get started, you guys. This is crazy. You've seen the Michaels score. This is everything. Well, actually, it isn't everything. I'm going to do two clips here, but I'm going to save the best for um, the end of this table right here. Uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Um... So, first, I found these silicone, is that Ray, Ryzen? Ray, I don't know, I don't even know how to pronounce it, R-E-S-I-N. Um, but I know what this is about, because I've been seeing some YouTube videos on it. You know, people pour that stuff in, they'd layer it. Um, it's pretty cool. I've actually been kind of thinking I might want to try it and do some really cool stuff. So, it's kind of in the back of my mind, but we'll see. Um, then... This was in there, some paint primer, black gloss. You could spray metal, wood, plastic, or more in or outdoors. Oh, that's interesting. And it dries in 10 minutes or less, so that was cool. Um, some paint here, it looks like maybe for some tie-dye, brush-on fabric, oh, brush-on fabric paint. Um, so that was in there, and it looks brand new i don't know it just looked like this thing won't shut anyways and then this cute little piggy bank looks like you can paint it or something i'll just uh, be putting that in with the donations and i'll probably put this in with the donations i'm not sure this whole bag of sequins right here um and let's see this cute little maybe scrapbooking stuff this is us paper house um just says a bunch of different things on there. Let's see, gonna get through this. It's okay not to be okay. I love therapy. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. Um, and then this whole big tub has four eight ounce packs of that model magic, and it's in white. Um, but I guess I can see if I can donate that to you. At least, at least I know people are going to get use out of the stuff when I donate it to Children's Hospital because when my daughter was hospitalized there, um, the floor that she was on, they had like different rooms at the end of the hall um, for kids to do different activities. And so that was cool. Unfortunately, my daughter wasn't allowed to leave her room. And um, so she didn't really get to experience it. But I know that kids are going to get a lot of use out of this stuff, and it just makes me so happy. Um, and then I found this cute, just little, little bag here. It can be, you know, for your crafts or whatnot. Um, and then I scored a ton of these little aprons, and I'm going to donate these too. Um, but there were two in here, purple and pink. And then actually, I got some over here too, some more adult ones. So there's a bunch, bunch of those. And then this cute little um, baton here, there was a second one, but it was leaking. And this one doesn't seem to be, so 
donate that. This was really cute. Um, it just needs to be glued back on. And very darling there. No place like home for the holidays. Found another nutcracker. Um, it's missing its little its head up there, its little hat. So I'm sure I'm going to find it, right? Isn't that hilarious? I'm sure I'm going to find it, just like you've seen on that lantern in the video. Um, I found two of these candles. I don't really know what these are about. They seem different. Um, they don't really have a scent to them. I thought they were battery operated, but they're not. I don't know. I feel like they go to something. It's anyways, um, tons of gift bags, all these little cute gift bags and the ones with the little toy soldiers on them. Um, not sure what this went to, but I feel like it goes to some kit or something that was in the pile. And then tons of the pipe pipes here. This is a whole big giant bag here. So I'm going to donate those. And then again, the aprons. All right, so here is some of the stuff I found. This was in there, and obviously there's something missing, and I don't know what it was. Um, but this right here is $16.99. I'm going to find out. I might Google around to see because I'm very curious. Then I found this this thing, and it lights up. So it's all working. This was $16.99. And I don't know if there's something missing right there. Again, I'm, I'm going to Google around and see what these look like. Um, but that was really cute, those two. Then... This cute little Santa, his little arm hand fell off, so I'm just going to glue that back on. So cute. Then this guy, um, and this right here, you guys, well, that says $29.99 for Canada. But anyways, it looks like the little foot, the guy that was standing up back here popped off. But anyways... It's showing it was $29.99. I don't know what the U.S. price is, but I know that that Limax brand is really expensive because here's why. I found this, and here's a funny story. I was watching Steven, Steven and Steph's video yesterday when they dived, and I dived yesterday, and they found this too, but they found just the, the stage, not the little magnet girls. And so I don't think they really got to see what the whole thing was. But I got this box. Look how much it is. $79.99. I opened up the box and everything is here. <laughs> Look at how cute. I'm going to turn it on. I put batteries in it. Let me. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. So it works and it's fine. So I'm not sure, but I hope Stephen and Steph see this so that she can see uh, what it was, what it's supposed to look like. Sugar Plum Dance Company presents a magical Christmas, and this is eighty freaking dollars, you guys. This is awesome. So cute. So with that said, I can turn the volume down. Um. I found a Lee Max, uh, that clock tower, if you guys had seen, and I ended up putting it online and sold it right away. Um, so hopefully, you know, there's a collector out there that would really appreciate this and, you know, whatnot. And then these other little cute little finds as well. But yeah, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, there, this one's holding a present. This one's holding a present. I don't think that one was supposed to. But anyways, awesome score. I don't know what this, see, there's a little rubber. Oh, maybe, I don't know. See, I'm going to have to look up this picture and see if there's anything missing. But as of what I'm looking at, it looks perfect. So, all right, let me set up the next clip. So here is the rest of, of everything from Michael's. Look at all of this beautiful chenille yarn. It is really, really nice. Like, this one is gorgeous. I'm loving that one, but look at how many I found. I love that one too. And I priced these out because I kept this to make sure I could at least see what the 
brand was. Um, you know, some of these go for 20 bucks. I looked up some, and I don't know if it's any of this, uh, but some go as high as $50. But, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know, not cheap. And um, oh, I love that one, too. So, yeah, I'm sure I can find someone that can use that. So awesome. And then I found actually two of these um, sketching and drawing sets. I just combined it. But it was all of these sketching pencils and whatnot. So I'm just going to throw it in a Ziploc bag and donate that. Um, and then some metallic, metallic marker. Found this beautiful tree topper star. So nice. I'm going to keep this one. Um, looks brand new. I don't know if it works. I hope it does, but it's gorgeous. Um, and it was $24.99. Very nice. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm like, I never score at that Michael's. So when I did, I was like, yes, because they have the big trash compactor. So I feel like they throw everything in there. So I'm not sure why this stuff was in the regular, um, dumpster, but yay me. Um, so excited. Here is a beautiful bow. Um, yeah, this was $9.99. And right, and then there was this jewelry making kit. Looks like a bunch of earring backs and earring pieces. Um, the electric bead reamer. Um, so I'm not sure, but I'm sure someone could get some use out of this. I don't know how much it is. But, yep, that was pretty cool. Then we have a bunch of the 24-pack of acrylic paints. Um, look at all the colors. And it just looked like, you know, this was cracked right there. So they tossed this whole big box out. And there are so many colors in there. And then some more canvases. And it looks like that one. And I don't think they did this intentionally, honestly. I think this is why they threw it away. Because they didn't damage any of uh, the ones on the back or anymore but I just found a bunch of these at Burlington and then I just found six another six pack and then last is this all this Cricut paper so nice and I actually have a Cricut machine I haven't used it in years um, but this is chipboard whole pack here and then all of this paper I mean there is so much paper um, this is even removable vinyl. So, yeah, you guys, freaking awesome score. I am so excited. But let me tell you, you don't want to miss the next video. I hit the absolute mother load at, Bur um, at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's crazy. You guys are going to be as shocked as me. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So don't miss that video. If you are new, please hit that subscribe and notification bell because you don't want to miss it. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, thank you guys so much for your comments and your likes. It helps my channel and I'm so grateful for all of you. But again, stay tuned. You don't want to miss this video. Have a great day, guys.